If you clicked on this video, you either want to go live on different social platforms using your phone, but with a good sound quality, using your microphone and system audio, or you want to create content directly through your phone, but using your microphone sound or system audio and not having to use a software to edit it. A short while ago, I was in your position doing my research. And in this video, I'm going to share with you everything that I've learned and all the problems that I encountered along the way. Let's get right into it. The main piece of gear that you will need to purchase is this iRig 2 or any of the fancier models that come after this. This is essentially a mini interface and a bridge between your phone and your instrument, microphone, etc. iRig 2 comes with this aux output. And as you know, most of the smartphones nowadays don't have that port available anymore so you will need a converter depending on whether you're using android or iphone my phone is google pixel 6 pro and it comes with USB-C as charger port so my converter has a USB-C that goes into my phone and it gives me an aux input for iRig to go into and you preferably want your converter to have a charger slot as well because if you're streaming you're likely to run out of charge at some point. So simple enough until now. iRig into converter, converter into your phone. Now we need the connection on this side of things to connect the microphone or your system audio to iRig. I use the jack to jack cable or you could call it the instrument cable. I was using this for my subwoofer, but right now I use it for my iRig. So what do we do with this? One side obviously go into the input where you have the guitar icon on the iRig. This was supposed to be the input for your instrument, but we're going to use it to get the sound from our computer. The other side is where you have a couple of choices. You might have watched some other videos where they have one jack going into the iRig and a stereo jack left and right going into the output of their audio interface where you usually uh, plug your studio monitors. However, in my setup, as you can see, I have two studio monitors and a monitor controller and I do not want to mess with that every time I want to stream, which is every night. So I'm not going to go in the back of my interface and plug it into my output. Also, just to clear things out, I do music reviews on my lives. So I do want my speakers to still be as they are. And here's the alternative, the way I use iRig. You can plug the other side of that jack into your headphone port of your interface. Now everything that comes out of the interface, whether it's multiple microphone signals, whether it's all the sounds that come from your computer, DAW, anything that comes out is gonna go directly to the headphone port, into the iRig and into your phone. If you're enjoying the video and you're finding it helpful and you do want to make a difference, please subscribe to the channel because having you on board will make a difference. In your scenario, your interface may have only one headphone port and not like mine where I have two. The alternatives for that are headphone splitters or headphone amps, which will give you multiple headphone outputs. I have my gain almost midway on my iRig 2 and I have my interface headphone port volume around 2 o'clock. Now this will differ and you will need to go and do a couple of test runs on the live, ask for some feedback from friends or family so they can tell you how much further you can push or how much lower you should bring it. And that's exactly what I did too. It took me a couple of lives until we get the perfect thing that we want out of this. By the way, if you're planning to stream as a DJ, the only difference that will make is that most of the decks have a line output, a left and right line output at the back. And all you have to do is to get a different cable that goes to the back of your deck, a line cable, and the other side will come into this as a jack. You will have to end up with a jack into the iRig. Now, if your line cable needs a converter, that's what you need to get. One of my DJ friends who goes live on TikTok, he put together this picture pretty creatively to show me how he sets up his, and I'm gonna show you that now on the screen. If you want to pause the video and look at his connections because he does have a smaller setup, do that and we can carry on. At this point, there's one final thing that will give you a headache if you don't do. On the iRig, you will find a headphone output port, which is an aux beside the input port for your instrument. In my case, my phone will not read iRig 2 if this port is empty. So to solve that, I just plug this Apple headphone that I've got right in there. I never even listen to it. It's just there to fix the problem. So if you don't see any connections between your iRig and your phone and you're wondering if anything's faulty, cable iRig itself, try this first. Put something into this 
and shut it up basically. From here, if I plug the end of this converter into my phone, we're ready to go. And that's how I do it every night for my streams. My microphone is obviously connected to my interface. And every night I have a template in my FL Studio, which is my DAW of choice, where I have my vocal chain set up for my microphone. And the sound goes from my microphone into my DAW, out of my interface, into the headphone port, into iRig, into my phone. And just like that, you hear my microphone come through. As I mentioned, because I do music reviews, I also need to play the music that comes to me through my computer. And there are no problems there. All I do is play the sound off of my computer and iRig will pick it up because it's coming out of my interface and into the headphone port. One other thing I want to mention is that the quality that you hear out of this headphone port is appalling. I'm not sure if this is a fault of my iRig or it's universal, but I did hear from my friends that they don't like this output either. So when I want to give feedback on people's music, I don't want to hear a, a sound that's not true coming out of this. I want to hear the exact sound quality that they send the track to me through my computer. And that's why I don't listen through the output of iRig when I'm live. And instead I listen through my second headphone port on my interface, which gives me direct sound from my computer, whether it's my voice or people's music. If you're gonna be using multi-guest features on TikTok live stream, let's say, and you're gonna have other people joining your stream, the only way that you're gonna be able to hear them talk is by using this port. Because obviously their sound is coming through the live and what I'm listening to is the direct sound of my computer. So I hear me and the music, but I don't hear them. And that's something to bear in mind before you purchase this. Another problem that you may run into, and I did and it gave me headache, is getting a very loud static noise whenever you're trying to record or go live. Again, before you start questioning whether the iRig is faulty, my cable's faulty, my phone's faulty, believe it or not, it's your charger. If you plug your charger to a USB hub that comes from your Mac, laptop, or PC, or if you plug it directly to your Mac, laptop, or PC, or even if you plug it to extension where your Mac, laptop, or PC is being connected to, anything that has a connection to the computer that you're getting your microphone sound from, you're likely to get that noise. So make sure you're using an independent socket and you're not plugging it to a USB hub that goes through your computer. I hope this video answered all the questions that you had in mind. All the gear that we talked about are linked in the description. Make sure you check them out. But that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.